So I have a boyfriend. Wait, really? I thought you never wanted a boyfriend. I thought you never wanted to be in a relationship. Jealous. What happened? Well, that was then. This is now. Now I'm ready. And he's also just super kind. Oh, that's nice. I'm so happy for you. Not happy. Oh, wow. oh my gosh. Let's see how long it lasts, though. Toxic. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> I just never thought you would be the relationship type. I've always been the relationship type. Tries to make herself look better than her friend. I've never had a desire to date more than one person. Then politely insinuates she's a slut. And the guy I'm with right now, I think he's the one. What number is this for you? Like six. Toxic. My boyfriend spoils me so much. He takes me on trips with him. He buys me the most expensive dinners he doesn't have to. What does your boyfriend do? What does he look like? Show me a picture. This is him. He's so cool. Wow. Jealous. Can I say something? Um, Screaming inside. You can do so much better. <laughs> well, I think he's good looking. And also we have great communication and our personalities just seem to go together. Ew. <laughs> Bro, the look on that chick's face is priceless. And girls watching this video know this is so on there's point. There's a girl in my school that was like infamous for going through several friend groups. Like literally, she would not have a friend for more than like two months. And then how we started talking was basically her ex. Rumors were going around that he was interested in me. And then I just see her one day while I'm going to the washroom and she's like, oh, I heard my ex like is into you. I'm like, oh, really? She's like, yeah, he was like so toxic. He like assaulted me. And then this whole friendship that I didn't ask for started. Like she'd literally insert herself into literally everything I did. Like I had a spare, which was pretty much class was going on, but I didn't have a class. And she would literally skip class to talk to me. She would literally come to my work and just sit there and like talk to me. Like literally i did notice some fake tendencies like she talked shit about a girl and then as soon as that girl like came in front of us she'd be like oh my god hey like loki everyone did that in translation she does that too so then it just so happens that my ex is back from university and we kind of start talking to each other again and the old feelings kind of come back up again meanwhile she is talking to his best friend so all four of us were kind of hanging out together. Let's actually call my friend Maddie. We were asking the guys if they wanted to sleep over as well. And my ex's friend didn't want to. And Maddie was really sad about it. And then Maddie's like, oh, why don't you stay with me? Like stay in my room. I was just like, oh, stop blocking me. But I ended up sleeping in her room because I felt bad. And I'm like, that's not what a good friend does. Yeah, Maddie. A good friend doesn't block her girl from trying to get it in. Come on. So me, Maddie, and my ex, we go to McDonald's, we eat. And then I have work that morning. So I have to leave. So they actually ended up going home together. And that's when this whole friendship blossomed between the two of them. They would like smoke together every night, drink together till like 3 a.m. And I'm like, hmm, what are you guys doing? <laughs> oh, you know what they're doing. I definitely knew that my ex was really into her because he's absolutely ugly. Like Maddie was saying how he looked like a literal horse. Like she would literally make fun of this guy. Is anybody else getting the feeling that this chick is just as toxic as the one she's talking about? So let me get this straight. She was dating this guy and Maddie thought this guy was ugly and looked like a horse until this guy leaves her for Maddie. And now she thinks that he's really ugly. Makes a whole lot of sense. Both of these girls apparently think this guy is really ugly, but only when they're not the one with him. Cause women hate women. Women hate women. You do. If you get any two girlfriends in this room, been girlfriends for 25 years, you put a man in between them, <laughs> that bitch. <laughs> you ever had a friend tell you that when they first met you or before you guys really interacted or when they first saw you, they didn't really like you or they didn't think they would like you? Yeah, cut that bitch off. What she's saying is that upon meeting you or being around you, she was intimidated by you. And nine times out of 10, those are probably your friends that are jealous of you, envious of you, can't really show up for you, don't really compliment you, don't congratulate you, yeah. And she's been honest with you from the jump. When she told you like, oh, when I first met you, I didn't really think we would lead along, I really didn't like you. Think about what she's saying. She's saying that when we were strangers, when you were a stranger to me, I had a problem with you. Meaning that when she's around you or when she was in your presence for the first time, her insecurity screamed really loud. Yeah, what this woman's saying couldn't be more true. And the type of girl she's also describing is the two besties who claim, oh yeah, we became best friends when we realized we were getting played by the same guy. When what they actually mean is, she's responsible for that relationship failing, so now I'm setting out to destroy her. Women hate women. Women hate women. Guys are not like that. Guys actually think there's other fish in the sea. If a guy introduces his boy to his new girlfriend, when they walk away, his boy goes, oh man, she's nice. I gotta get me a girl like that. <laughs> if a woman 
introduces her new man to her girlfriend. When they walk away, her girlfriend goes, I gotta get him. <laughs> Bro, this Chris Rock joke is so on point. I used to date this chick who had two gorgeous friends in her friend group, but one was slightly less beautiful than the other one. Then one day, the less beautiful one gets a tall, dark, and handsome boyfriend until he wasn't her boyfriend anymore because he was dating the other one. The other one who already had a boyfriend, but cheated on him and left him for this new guy, essentially ruining that relationship and her friendship and her friend's relationship as well as her friendship with the rest of the group because the guy stuck in the middle of all this was my girlfriend's brother. Essentially, essentially ousting the less beautiful girl from the entire friend group, all because she couldn't stand to see her less attractive friend with an objectively more attractive and cooler boyfriend than her own. And if you like this video so far, click like and comment below for the algorithm. So we're in New York City, absolute besties, obsessed with each other. We had so much fun together. She had moved to New York City and I followed her um, because she was just like, you've got to do it. We've got to try it. And I always wanted to do it anyways. Red flags, red flags, red flags. But I didn't pick up on them. I just didn't. She was stunning. And I mean, stunningly beautiful in shape. I mean, she had, she checked all the boxes. Her and I had the exact same taste in men, which was, we loved hot. Shocker. <laughs> the first red flag that I should have caught was this one night, um, there were guys in the bar that we had met and it was very evident that both of us liked the same guy. And when we went to the bathroom together, she said right away, okay, we both like this dude. Do, what are we gonna do? And I was like, oh, I don't know. Um, what do you want to do? She says, let's go have a shot. We go have a shot and then she raises the glass and she says, may the best woman win. Well, she went home with him. But that was cool. I was like, all right, whatever. I still had a great time. Um, he had a great friend and a great roommate. So me and that guy kicked it off and it was, that was fine. Yeah, and relationships that start out like this end with the A guy sleeping with the B guy's wife because she was always more attracted to him from the start, as well as having to redeem herself from being shown up by her hotter friend. And then there was, let's call him Paul. We go out one night and Paul is there. Um, we meet up with friends of a friends and people that had been working together that she worked with. Later that night, we're in um, a car being driven back home by one of her coworkers, and I say, hey, what's up with Paul? He is really cute. Immediately, Bridget. Oh my God, I think he's cute too. <laughs> so we get told, Paul is available. Uh, two weeks go by, and I haven't really seen Bridget in a while. Like, Bridget has been MIA. Finally, she calls me and she's like, hey, I just have to say, I have to tell you something. Um, so you know how I work in the same office as Paul? Yeah. Well, we're dating now. Bridget, you moved fast. But that's not, that's not the problem here. Bridget always said that she can never keep friendships with women because they hate her. And it was always insinuating because they were so jealous of her. She invites me to brunch with her and Paul. I'm okay. Like, I met Paul one night, I thought he was hot. It's cool. I don't care about Paul. Sounds like you care about Paul. <laughs> so we get to this brunch. We're hanging out. I'm being told about how her and Paul started talking on the little messenger. She pauses. Look, I just don't want it to be weird. Like Amber thought you were hot too. And, but you know, we both thought you were hot. And now here we are. Does that look like the face of someone who doesn't care about Paul? <laughs> Methinks thou doth protest too much. But seriously, what this girl said about how her friend can never have relationships with other women because they're constantly jealous of her or whatever, this is exactly what I was describing with that girl in the beginning of my last video who said she can only have male friends because her friends with women always end up being toxic. The reason they're always toxic is because she behaves the same way this woman's describing with all her female friends. So she says, there's nothing worse than a jealous friend. Consider yourself warned. It's very clear if you pay close attention if a friend is genuinely happy for your success or jealous of it. Sense the slightest hint of envy? Distance yourself immediately. Signed, someone who has learned time and time again. Yeah, and the thing about this woman's post, how much you wanna bet she's Bridget from the last story? <laughs> and be careful with the females. Females, be careful with the females, honey. They, women, women, women go in with the jealousy. They hate on your man. They hate on you. Had a romantic night. They get upset if you get off the phone. Oh, that's that. That's that man, ain't it? Some. That's that. N huh? Oh, you ain't got time. You know what is it? Are we best friends or you? you we in a lesbian relationship? What the hell is going on? Oh, she's jealous, all right, but she's not jealous of your man. She's jealous because you have a man, and most likely she doesn't or she thinks yours is better. And this is what so many women do to their female friends. They try to sabotage them, but disguise their jealousy as concern. What, what are we saying? You think, no, you should cut your hair. 
no 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 don't leave it long oh my god no grace how pang would it look if you like cut your hair to about here no her long hair i don't think you suit long hair that much yeah i just feel like it's getting a little bit ratty at the ends and like it would look so much more sleek if it was like a bob in this clip is another perfect example of the same phenomenon I was just describing. Essentially what she's saying is that her friend who knows she's more attractive is trying to encourage her to get a haircut that she knows will look ugly on her to eliminate her as competition. I'm not talking about romantic relationships. I'm talking about your coworker, your classmate, your neighbor, something along those lines. But one of the biggest red flags that I learned to spot early on is when every conversation that I have with you feels like an interview. You take every opportunity to try to find out as much as you can about me and my life. Bonus points if the questions sound harmless, but they feel intrusive. Like, I don't even know you well enough for you to even be asking me these questions. Like, why do you need to know if both my kids have the same father? Why do you need to know how long I've been engaged? Why do you need to know if I'm leasing or financing and how much is my car payment? So you don't only need to know if this is a wig or a sewing, but you need to know how long my hair is. Most of the time, they're not just being friendly and inquisitive. They try to gather information about you. Do yourself a favor. Run. Yeah, and the reason women do this to each other is because one, they want to size up the competition, and two, she'll then later on weaponize that information against this woman. And these types of women will also do the same thing with men after being vulnerable and opening up to them. There are certain types of people out there who want to push this idea that the reason men are told to man up and not be vulnerable with women is because of the patriarchy, when the reality is the reason they need to avoid it is because women like the one she's describing, who disguise their true nature and pretend to be open, caring, and inquisitive for loving reasons, only to then use the information they acquire against the man later on. You open up to her about some childhood trauma that you had, you better believe that crap's gonna come up first thing as soon as you get in an argument. You're so freaking childish. No wonder I cheated on you. I needed a man. Maybe you didn't turn into a man because your dad wasn't even in your life because he didn't even want you. And then it will be used against you in court when they try to paint you as some mentally ill, dangerous person. Similar to what Jonah Hill's ex-girlfriend did to him when he was vulnerable with her, which I described in detail a couple of videos back. And I'm not saying that all women do this, but the problem is most men can't tell which women will because as we've already seen throughout this entire video, those women will disguise their true nature. So to any of those certain types of people who want to criticize me or blame the patriarchy for why a lot of men feel they can't be vulnerable and open up to women, maybe you should consider what I just said. And to anyone who agrees with me on this, click like, and whether you agree or not, let me know your opinion down in the comments. I'm so excited for my internship. Wait, didn't you only get that because your friend helped you get it? Right. Sorry, I just thought you got it by yourself. <laughs> oh my gosh, your makeup makes you look so pretty. Your outfit is so extra. No, you look good, but it's like so extra. Oh my gosh. That's like, everyone's going to look at you, but like not in a good way. Oh my gosh, that hot guy from last night asked me Yeah, I feel me like out. it's a lot easier for girls with like personalities like you. Yeah, like more like loose. And I feel like guys are really like threatened by me, but you're just like more approachable for someone that would want to sleep with you, you know? So it says, when your bestie gets jealous, someone paid you a compliment on a shirt you borrowed from her. So someone off camera says, oh, I like that shirt. Thanks, it's mine. Oh, well, it's so cute. Well, thank you. Can I have my shirt back? Of course, I'll wash it tonight. No, like right now. Right now? I just don't want people thinking it's your shirt when it's mine. Well, I can just tell them I don't have another shirt. Look, you can just go buy one, okay? There's plenty of stores, I'll wait right here. Are you serious? Look, honey, I need you to validate my feelings, okay? And <laughs> not be a toxic friend. So go buy one, I'll wait here, bye. Guess what guys, Ryan asked me out today. Wow. <laughs> yeah, like guys, literally well, he's like, the sweetest. Guys, I actually have news. Like, I wasn't I, Vanessa like I'm talking I literally don't know how to say this guys but like I'm moving I'm literally switching schools no yeah <laughs> seriously I know I know like I just didn't know how to tell you guys when uh, like next year. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this is exactly how some little girls act. What she's describing here is like a 12 year old girl. And I specifically remember at that age, observing girls who act exactly like this. My first girlfriend, Kimberly, when I was 13, had a neighbor, Bethany, who was her best friend. And they used to hang out all the time. And I would often hang out over there too, because I lived around the block. And being neighbors in the same age, they were inseparable until one day, Bethany invites over this girl, Megan, from a town over to stay for the weekend. In that joke that Chris Rock told earlier about putting a guy between two best friends and watching them attack each other is also true when you introduce a third woman, or I guess girl in this case, because what almost always ends up happening is two of them will gang up on the third. And women know I'm right about this, so ladies, comment your thoughts below. So in this situation I experienced, what ended up happening was 
Kimberly and Bethany both try to recruit Megan as their new best friend to team up against each other. And of course, Megan being in the center of all this and getting all the attention, went along with both at different times throughout the weekend, trying to play both sides, which ultimately angered both Bethany and Kimberly, which led them to reunite and attack Megan together, causing her to cry and go home. And I was baffled by this, realizing at that young age that women just pretend to be friends when in fact, they hate each other. But that's all I got to say about this topic. Let me know your opinions down in the comments. Click like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video with someone you think might like it. And check out my second channel for commentary on interesting and wild relationship stories or people seeking dating and relationship advice. Till then, hope you all take care of yourselves. Support and be good to good women. Peace.